Hello everyone. In this video tutorial, we will be demonstrating proper microcapitating techniques. Hello, my name is Gene Isnoa. I'm a student here at Appalachian College of Pharmacy, and I'll be the one demonstrating the microcapitating techniques. Let's get started. Look at the front face of the pipette to see the minimum and maximum operating range. There are different sizes of micropipettes and they are named by the maximum volume they can measure. The most important part is the plunger button. Because you need to set the desired volume by turning the plunger button and also you have to use this button to draw and dispense the liquid. The plunger button will stop at two different positions when it is depressed. Push the plunger button down slowly to the first point of resistance. This is the first stop. Then push the plunger down beyond the initial resistance until it is in contact with the body of the pipette. This is the second stop. This micro pipette can measure 100 to 1000 microliters. The maximum volume it can measure is 1000 microliters. So the size of this micro pipette is P1000. Never exceed the upper or lower limits of these pipetters. To achieve the greatest accuracy, always choose the smallest size pipette. For example, if you want to transfer 100 microliters, then you should use a P100 or P200 instead of a P1000 microliter size. These are the micropipette tips which come in various sizes. You must choose the correct size of tips for your micropipette. You should insert the micropipette shaft into the tip by pressing down firmly. You should also never touch the tips with your hands. There are two pipetting methods. Forward pipetting is used for standard liquids as reverse pipetting is used for high viscosity liquids. First we are talking about forward pipetting. Depress the plunger button to the first stop. Dip the tip just under the liquid surface about 3 mm to pre-rinse the tip for at least 3 times. And then slowly release the plunger button. Hold the pipetter vertically when drawing and withdraw the tip from the liquid by touching against the edge of the reservoir to remove the excess liquid. Dispense the liquid by gently pressing down the plunger button to the first stop. After a short delay, press the button to the second stop to empty the tip completely. This will result in dispensing the correct volume of fluid. Tips should be discarded into the appropriate container. In the case of using reverse pipetting method, to draw liquid you must depress the plunger to the second stop because the liquid is very viscous. Dispense the liquid by gently pressing the plunger to the first stop. This volume is equal to the set volume. This micropipette has been calibrated by the manufacturer. Now, we will check the delivery accuracy of the micropipette using deionized water and an analytical balance. This can simply be done by checking the weight of any specific volume. We have the micropipette set for 500 microliters. Using the density of water, we calculated the actual volume, then calculated the accuracy and precision using Microsoft Excel. For this specific micropipette use, this is the acceptance limit.